close when she wants to. We're already throwing the loop. Last one is going to hit TH final. He is going to start matching back and really just showing off just how high Shinji's damage can be. Even off one stray hit, you're getting comboed. Moon Drive now. And uh, Stark's going to throw TH final into the corner. But uh, if he's not taking it, he's going to throw right back. And not a whole lot of long corner time for either of these players. Now, honestly, a corner, even in the advantage spot, isn't really where Red Art wants to be. For a zoning type character, you prefer to have a little bit of screen to work with. But you can close the gap so quickly in Melty that you don't get a lot of that time. Oh, starts living, actually, and gets the uh, punish. Could still pull this off, but the second I curse it, Starks is dead, and CA final takes the first round. Starks will be having an extra bar to work with, working with uh, three now, so he's got 20 for a uh, arc drive if he wants it. CA final coming out. With big normals and the big spicy combos. Getting one bar up, full moon gauge if he wants it. And Red Art really doesn't have a whole lot of moon drive to work with, moon gauge to work with. Getting the damage off though, EX Edge, and putting him down in the corner. Forcing him to block. No throw though, he must have mashed something or tried to jump. Trying to jump is uh, one of the most dangerous things to do in the corner because oftentimes jumping might be your only way out. Oop, Arc Drive does not hit. Punish coming out here, and that could be a dead start, not necessarily. Here's the heat, shield, goes to take the bait. And CH Final really only needs one hit to get the kill. Starts, maybe. It's going to be really close, not any meter to work with, and that is going to be dead. CH Final will be taking the first game in winner's quarters. Yeah, install moves on Shiki definitely uh, make him a spooky character to deal with. Because if he finishes a uh, round off with his arc drive, then he's going to have that install for the next round. All right, here's the chop, and instantly good damage coming out for Shiki. He starts getting shoved right back into the corner. Here's the Oki, and he's just hitting his lows. It's one of the most foolproof ones to go with, which is really hard to punish, even if you do successfully block it. It's, just one of, it's kind of your first initial idea of, okay, I've got them knocked down, what do I do? You can match low, you can set up for a uh, overhead, and for some characters they have kind of ridiculous set play. He doesn't really play like that at time. Both players about half-life now, and meters are starting to fill up, but I say that, they start spinning it. Arc's got him down now, goes to the other side. He wakes up, tries to throw, doesn't get it. Shield with the B go behind, and that could be CH Finals dead. Starts taking a round. Not necessarily out of it yet. Cheeky dashing. This pre-match movement can be so important. There's so many different things you can do. Melty's definitely a game where you always want to be above your opponent because there's very few true anti-airs in the game. Super coming out. And he's got the install. Moon Drive and a reversal on Wake Up. Whiff, and that could very well be dead. Yep, there we go. Right, CH Final now around from taking it. Starts, he's got plenty of meter to make the way back, but not a lot of moon to go. EX at, ooh, not quite there. Shiki with a good defense. Pistol low. And we see a combo. Sorry, ooh. Heat's on wake up, but Shiki wasn't actually enough, close enough to get hit by the heat hitbox. So Stark's going to take a punish. Not really get back any health, but not really lose a lot of health either. Shield. We go three in that particular shield sequence. And Stark's not out of it yet, but really looking a little worse for wear here. DH final putting on a hurting. That could be it. Combo doesn't continue comboing. And that will be the round, the game, and the set for C8 final. That was winner, so Starks will be dropping into the lower bracket. And uh, uh, one second, I will tell you who C8 final will be moving on to face. It's going to be Goomy in winner semis.
As always, if you're just tuning in, I'm Strawberry here at Xanadu, FTC at Xanadu, facts number 427. I'd like to welcome you all and remind you that we do in fact have a new schedule. Doors now open at three and our first tournaments are at 6.30. Undernight is back, Blaze Blue Central Fiction is back. If you play these games, if somebody you know plays these games, let them know, come on out, 